Yo, what's up, Tech Squad? We're back in the ring, guys. Today's video, we're gonna be showing you guys the best FPS guide to getting better frames in Fortnite from looking like this to looking like this. And guys, if you do enjoy the video, make sure to smash the like button, guys, and subscribe down below if you're new to the channel. Let's see if we can get 10 likes on this video. If we can, we'll upload another video just like this. And let's get right into it. All right, guys, starting off with tip number one, guys. Go to your bottom left-hand corner, click the Start menu, and the search bar, type in percent app data percent click open click at the top where it says app data go to local scroll down to you find fortnite game saved config windows client right click game settings properties uncheck read only double click click control f guys and then type in foliage like this then click find next once you get here click the exit button scroll down all of these sgs right here from all the highlighted ones and all of these make sure all of these are turned to zero all right guys once you're done go ahead and type in b capital s show capital g grad click find then once you found it guys make sure that that is on false and then after you're done guys go ahead and click file save exit out of this go back to this and check read only all right guys once you want to go go back on google and then type in timer resolution a link will be in the description if you guys do not want to type this in click download time resolution for windows 10 now once you guys download it it'll be in the right there go ahead and click show go to your downloads and then if you know have to just click timer and then click search once you find timer resolution go ahead and click right click it click extract here if you guys do not have winrar i will put a link in the description for that as well to extract it or if you have one zip seven zip either one guys those will all work after you're done guys extract it here go ahead and double click on this right here okay guys now yours is going to be like this okay now yours is most likely going to be like 15 at the current resolution or around there somewhere. What you want to do guys is just click maximum. Every time you're playing a game just make sure it's on maximum and then you can just line out and it will always be here. Open and ready to use. Now when you're done guys don't forget to click default after you're done playing games and then it resets your resolution since this is only meant for gaming. So once you're done with that you can go ahead and exit out of your downloads guys. For the third step guys, I'm going to show you guys the best graphic settings for your graphics card. If you're on NVIDIA, I will pop up NVIDIA stuff for right now. And then if you are on AMD, just keep following along. If you're on AMD drivers, click the care in the bottom right hand corner. Right click Radian, open Radian software, go to home. All you have to do is go to your settings wheel in the right hand top corner. Go to graphics and make sure you are on custom. Alright guys, so turn on radiant anti-lag. Turn off chill, turn off boost. Enable image sharpening guys. I'd recommend just staying on 80. Radiant enhanced sync, I'd recommend that being off. Wait for vertical refresh, always off. Anti-analyzing, use application settings. Anti-analyzing method, multi-sampling. This off anti-stroke filtering off texture filtering quality make sure to have that on performance all the time surface format optimization enabled tessellation mode override application settings maximum tessellation make sure to turn that off this will make a very big boost in your performance in game OpenGL triple buffering disabled 10-bit pixel format disabled reset shader catch make sure to perform a reset every year or so if you guys have an older driver this could actually free up a lot of space on your drivers and make it run a lot smoother and not overheat if your drivers ever overheat all right guys once you're done go to close out of everything and make sure to have time resolution at maximum and go ahead and launch fortnite all right guys once you're on fortnite Go ahead and click your settings button. Go to your settings and make sure to cap your FPS at 240 or 60. If your guys monitor refresh rate is at 60 hertz, I'd recommend going on 60 or if you don't care, probably 120. Anything higher than that, it could be possible screen tearing and messing up your monitor. 
Now I have a 240 Hz monitor, so I cap mine at 240. I have 1920 by 1080 full screen. Brightness is at 100. You can turn it up or down if you want. I don't use colorblind. Make sure guys to put all your settings on low and then just turn up your 3D resolution. If your game is a little laggy-ish after you have all these settings on, I'd recommend turning down your 3D resolution to 90 and then just keep going by a percentage of 5 and just see if that helps guys. Make sure to have all these on low, as low as it possibly can go. Make sure to have VSync off, motion blur off, show FPS. I have it on because I like to see what my FPS is on. DirectX version, make sure to use DirectX 11. DirectX 12 is not good and it can actually harm your FPS and use more power of your computer when it's not necessary. If you guys do have this option, allow multi-threaded rendering. This is for higher graphics cards. Make sure to have that on if you do have this option available. Use GPU crash debugging off because that, as you can see, it says performance cost, which we are here to have max performance. Go to your next settings game wheel. Scroll all the way down to where you can see peripheral lighting. Make sure to have peripheral lighting turned off and NVIDIA highlights turned off as well. Make sure to have all your replays off unless you're playing competitive or you need to have your replays on or you're trying to get clips then you can have record replays on but for best performance we're going to have that off. Once you're done with that go ahead and click apply. Once you're done with all that guys make sure to click apply and that will be the end of the video guys. If you did enjoy the video make sure to smash the like button subscribe down below if you're new to the channel and if you guys are not using support creator code in the item shop make sure you go ahead and click support creator code. And don't forget to type in tab and then make sure to click accept and you guys are supporting me and then just go into a settings go ahead and click the item if you guys want to and make sure to click purchase thank you guys for all the support on this video and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out